previously we went to the Miyahara for some delicious ice cream with a lot of choices to choose from and get the Wagyu buffet. Yes, now I'm at the I should call it the anime animated street. Like the whole street y'all can see over here is filled with all those um hand painted anime like I even see Ace right over there and there's like some Sam Bitang guys over here. So just already in front. I think one of it is uh, Kirua, the Hunter X Hunter. And uh what is that? Is it the Yuji guy? But anyway, I'm gonna bring you all in and we are gonna see all those painted anime right inside this street. That's Luffy, which is right here. Good Dragon Ball. And this one is the Academy, Hero Academy. Yuki Ho. Popeye. Mega Man. Gundam. Street Fighter. They will know if you are from the 90s. And who? Oh, what is it? This? Oh, I think this one is Pamiya. Is it? I think it's Pamiya. Oh, this is like all those childhood. Look, who is this? Conan. And there's even more like Japan right here that you can play. I think they call this the. What is this? Awaji. A lot of soft toy and figurine. Oh, Sam Down. So more Sam Down. Oh, this is called a Totoro. Oh my god, I totally can't recognize him. Okay, here's some. And <laughs> what is this bubble song? This flash of war, they are going to make it into like full anime, which you can see. Like, there's the Fomboman, then the Shin Geki, Iru Yasha, Full Metal Alchemist, and also the Cup Chapters of Ra. This guy, I forget, he's the Eat Eat guy that can do the sword and knife. And also, there's even more that I can recognize. I think this guy is the what? The Demon Sword guy. And also, the Crow Sensei in Ichigo. Oh, what is his name? Huh? The famous post. Those really brings back a lot of memories, but the heat is killing me right now. I'm gonna try and escape this. After a hot long day at the animated street, we are here at the Ichiran, which is the one and only Ichiran in Taichung. So let's head in and have our lunch. <laughs> In, they will give you like two paper like this, which you can purple and toast the sweetness of your noodles and garlic, plus the green onion chashu, original spicy meat stuff, and the texture of your noodles. There's a menu over here that you can take a look. The ordering is a bit different over here. That, uh, before you enter, they will give you like a sleeve of menu, which you can choose your uh, noodles and stuff like that. And after that, uh, they will just queue along the stairways. It will bring all the way to level 2. And after that, uh, over there, you will do your payment and come into here. 
is the first thing that you need. The katsu egg and seaweed that you add to your noodles. Oh, you see it. Based on the smell, the, blue, the broth is very fragrant and thick. And there's some oily oily things that is above. I think it's some um, sesame essence or sesame oil. The, the pork, the pork is really really nice. It's all infused in the soup. I really like it. Eh? I find it the broth, the uh, first few soup uh, that I drink is very very nice. And after that, you get a bit overwhelming. That's why I uh, the chili will help with the blending and also the neutralize the um the pork pocky taste. Eh? You do you find the pocky taste that like, oh, will get a bit over at times? Yeah, and also uh, our set meal comes with a lot of uh, additional three pieces of pork. So uh, there's a lot of uh, pork flavor in our noodle. What's the total damage that we have? Uh, it's around 500 per person, is it? Uh, no, it's almost that because uh, for both of us, it's about uh, 996 uh, dollars. Uh, so you can do the conversion. It's time for some bubble tea. So here is the Chi Chang San Tian from Taichung. Let's go in and try some bubble tea. In Taiwan, right, they are bubbles are always very chewy and not like those very very soggy kind. I do have um some soggy soggy bubble back in my country, which is a bit not, not pleasant to chew uh, actually because it's like sticking all over in your teeth. I did to scrape it off. That's quite irritating. But here, their bubble is always very chewy, and they are in the really good texture and their milk are always very fresh I like their milk tea I'm having it milk tea almost every single day when I'm here I should really go and try their milk tea over here and definitely come to Ci Chan Han Qian in their Tai Chong branch which is quite famous over here too Right now I'm at Feng Jia Ye Si to settle my dinner with my friend right here What is in your mind right now? Uh, that you really want to try uh, maybe fried chicken the the Sweet potato balls yeah I want to try a few of their desserts which uh, I find it also I think I find that some of them inside my Google map too and definitely I would try to find each and every one of them if possible because it's quite scattered around in the market like you can see there's a lot of things here not just the food. Also, there's like items for you to buy. Like, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, like smell the Spanish tofu literally everywhere. Yeah. Why? Uh? I hate the smell. <laughs>
we got the plum flavor one. Oh, that's right. I got quite a lot of the powder. The stew is very crispy and the interior is quite chewy also. The plum is, plum is the powder is not very overwhelming. And there's uh, some colors that is circling around the balls. Do you taste much of the plum? I wouldn't really taste much of the plum, just the powder. Mm. But it makes me think, reminds me of one of the potato chip. I think Pringles or something. Eh? And uh, the thing is, it's a hollow ball. Mm -hmm. So you won't get uh, full for mm -hmm. eating a lot of this. A uh, good snack, huh? It's a, it's a very good snack. You won't get full of eating. Mm. Is there something worth try? The small size is only $30,000. Yeah, for this? Yeah, so it's, it's about a dollar. <laughs> Get the whole chunk of it. They will cut into chips. Yeah. This is very chunky. Roti prata, roti prata. Yeah. The Thai, Thai roti prata. Thai roti. Ayo, 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 ayo. Not the most famous one. Yeah, so. So we got the um uh, Tan Tan Ping. Or you can call it the spring Sc onion, is it? The scallion pancake. Scallion pancake. Yeah. So we got two flavors in total. There's a cheese one and the original one. This one you got is the, the cheese flavor. Cheese flavor. That's yeah. why there's a yellow yellow powder on it. Yeah, yeah. The flavor is just by all the powder, different uh, taste of powders. Come on, let's try it. Take your first bite. This with how it looks, you can think of it like the Indian prata or the Thai roti. Roti, yeah, it's something similar to that, but they add the skeleton inside and they spray different powder on it. It's very crispy outside, uh, springy inside. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. I like the chewing texture and everything. You see how they make it's just a big piece of roti and they cut into uh, quarters. It's actually quite thick compared to most of the roti. And there's a really very nice smell of the scallions. And actually, this thing can get quite cool if you eat a lot of them. Mm, because it's just flour though. And also, they got quite a few flavor now there's the uh, pepper there's the spicy wasabi curry seaweed plum original scallion i think scallion original should be the same uh. or maybe they'll add more scallion to it mm. there's quite a few different flavor for you to choose from if you let me choose uh, between these two i would think that the original one i would like it more because i can taste more of the Scallion taste in it. Well, the cheese one definitely will somehow cover up some of the scallion. <laughs> yeah, that's so. I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna find more street food over here in the Pongsia. After some finger food, we grab a full meal before heading back to our hotel as tomorrow is going to be a long day. On the next episode, we'll check out the South Tribe who live. At the Moon Sun Lake. Today, the weather is very hot. Oh, very hot. 30 degrees. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, it's my own 
Uh, we will be grabbing some street food. My friend want to try this, the Tenshu Tea Pai. He said it's quite famous, so he's queuing up to get some right now. So don't forget to tune in to the next episode.